represented by a Swedish singer. Her name is uh, Sandra Oxenrid. Um, you've been on stage today. Uh, your first rehearsal, how happy or how satisfied are you? Uh, I'm really satisfied, actually. Um, we went to this viewing room after the rehearsal and, um, well, I just wore these uh, small hot pants and everything, but uh, I thought it looked uh, great anyway. <laughs> yeah, they're really hot, these hot pants. So would you like to wear them on, on uh, Thursday night? Uh, no. <laughs> it was just because uh, these shoes are so high, uh -huh. so I cannot wear jeans over them, because uh -huh. normally I would have had jeans on. And then I didn't have anything else, so I had to take these bathing hot pants <laughs> that I used to the beach. <laughs> Um, how uh, close are you personal, personally uh, connected with Estonia? Do you have any personal relationship or uh, what's your intention uh, to represent another country, not your home country, Sweden? Well, I wasn't uh, connect connected at first, mm -hmm. but now of course, because uh, I'm their singer this year and I'm going to do my very best to give them as good result as possible uh, to next year and hopefully we will win, but it's hard to tell what the Europeans want want to have, of course. Yeah, the Estonians already did the same procedure 2002 with Salin, she was also from Sweden. And um, I, a lot of people think um, Estonia really feels close to Scandinavia generally. Do you think it's an advantage that um, Estonia and Scandinavia are so close? Well, of course, it's easier um, if you want to have a singer from abroad is to take a singer from Sweden than taking a singer from, I don't know, uh, very far away. <laughs> but um, like the world is also shrinking because of the airplanes and everything. So uh, I think that Eurovision has to get used to it because I think it will happen more and more. In the semi-final, you're going to represent an Eastern or formerly Eastern European country, which now belongs to the, EB, to the European Union. But um, a lot of people uh, are a little bit afraid of the, they call it Balkan connection, that the people from Macedonia, Bosnia, Herzegovina and Albania, they all vote for each other. But, but uh, Estonia is a little bit out of the spot. Do you think uh, you can profit of these uh, Eastern European countries uh, in the voting procedure? or not? Well, um, I don't think uh, that the people vote for each other in that way. Um, I think it's just like a coincidence actually because uh, then Sweden should always get, for instance, 12 points for Norway mm -hmm. and we, we, we don't. And uh, like, uh, I think it's the same, <laughs> you know, with the, with the rest of the Euro of European countries. Estonia has already won the Eurovision Song Contest as well as Latvia, so close behind. And um, do you know about some uh, something about Lat uh, Lithuania because they they are really unsuccessful the last years? Why why is it so? Or ca do you have an imagination why this could be like this? Actually, I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, because maybe they uh, they don't have a very strong song this year as uh, Estonia maybe. For example. Well, uh, I didn't listen that much to uh, any other songs because I thought that we'd have the opportunity now to hear them all. Mm -hmm. uh, and also I've been trying to focus on what we have this year and try to focus on my appearance on stage and, uh, and everything. So, um, well, I cannot answer your question, unfortunately. <laughs> you g uh, are you going to expect a big uh, support from Sweden too? Uh, do you think you get the 12 points from Sweden? Of course, I hope, <laughs> uh, but uh, you never know. <laughs> Okay, to come to the uh, conclusion, uh, would you mind to sing us the refrain of uh, uh, Through My Window? Of course, I can sing for you. <laughs> I'm looking through my window, what about the sun you may shine? What about the rain you cried on my pillow? I'm looking through my window What about us? Tell me why I still can't see Where's the rainbow? Yes, great. Thank you so much, Sandra. And we wish you the best of luck for the semi-final. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>